In this video, I'm going to show how to create an infinite background in Blender. So I want to create a plane. So I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh, select plane. Next, I'm going to press S for scale and I'm going to scale up my plane. That should be perfect now that the plane is scaled up. Select it, press Control A and select scale to apply it. Next, I'm gonna jump into solid mode. So I'm gonna press Z and go into solid mode for a second here. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna jump into edit mode. So you can either press tab on your keyboard or you can come over here, press select and then go into edit mode. Then I wanna make sure I'm in edge select mode. You can press two on your keyboard or you can press this to go into edge select mode. So since my camera is gonna be placed in front of the sign, I'm gonna select this edge right here behind my sign. I'm gonna press E to extrude it and I'm going to press Z because I want to extrude it up as much as I can. That should be perfect. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move it along the Y axis as far as I can so the camera doesn't pick it up. That should be fine. Then I wanna select this edge here and I'm gonna press Control B to bevel it, Control B and move my mouse up or down to increase the bevel then scroll your mouse up to increase the segments and that should be perfect next because i know i want to place my camera here i'm going to select this edge right here and i'm just going to move it back along the x-axis this way nice press tab to jump back into object mode select the plane right click and select shade auto smooth and i'm just going to move the plane back Perfect. Next, I'm gonna select my sign. I'm gonna press delete on the numpad just to frame my sign up. I'm gonna press Z and go into rendered mode. You can see it's a bit bright. I'm gonna press zero on the numpad to get into my camera mode. Perfect. Next, I wanna add a material to the plane. So I'm gonna select it, go into my shader editor, click on new, click on base color, and I'm just gonna decrease the brightness, sorry, of the infinite background. I'm gonna jump back into edit mode, tab, edit mode, I'm gonna hold alt and click on this edge. So it selects all the edges on the left of the plane and I'm just gonna click and drag, just move it so that it's big enough to cover the camera's width of frame. It's perfect, jump back into object mode, press zero to jump back into the camera. As you can see, we have an infinite background. Hope this tutorial helped you, my name's Jermaine and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, goodbye.